knee medicine cram, acyanotic heart disease, flashcard set 24, congenital heart defect, lab values. This deck of cards can be used for review for the National Council Licensure Examination. Acyanotic heart disease refers to a group of diseases where there's some type of perforation in the heart that leads to a mixing of oxygenated and deoxygenated blood. Okay? A five-year-old child with a congenital heart defect is to receive digoxin PO. Before we continue, digoxin is a poisonous compound present in um, foxglove and other plants. It's a steroid glycoside and it's used in extremely small doses as a cardiac stimulant, okay? And PO is um, shorthand for the Latin term per os, um, and it's an expression used in medicine to describe a treatment taken orally. So this literally means digoxin taken orally, okay? Prior to administration, the healthcare provider checks the most re recent laboratory report. Which lab, I can't say laboratory, okay, I used to say Dexter's Laboratory a lot to try to pronounce this word. Okay, Le which laboratory value should be of most concern to the healthcare provider? Is it A, potassium, 3.2 microequivalents per liter, or 3.2 millimolar per liter? B, digoxin level of 0 0.8 nanograms per milliliter, or 1.02 nanomoles per liter? C, hemoglobin 10 grams per deciliter or 100 grams per liter or G, um, creatinine 0 0.4 milligrams per deciliter or 35.3 micromolar per liter. And creatinine is a compound that's produced um, by the metabolism of creatine and it's excreted in urine. And in case you're wondering what creatine is, um, it's a compound formed in protein metabolism, and it's present in most uh, tissue throughout our body. It's specifically involved in the supply of energy for muscle contraction, okay? All right, I'll give you a moment to select the correct lab value that would be concerning. Okay. All right, let's um, first start by analyzing our hemoglobin lab value. The hemoglobin is slightly low, but it is not the most concerning lab value listed here in relation to digoxin, okay? Now, renal function is important in dosing uh, digoxin. However, serum creatinine is within the normal limits of a five-year-old child. So this is okay. However, um, potassium levels are important to monitor with given digoxin because hypokalemia, that's um, low potassium, can cause digoxin toxicity. So we would want to um, check out the potassium level or monitor it closely because um, of the possible toxicity that can ensue by administering digoxin when the potassium levels are low. Okay, all right.